So the question we're going to be answering in this video, is it worth it? You can't do a video without red rain. What up YouTube, Nate here from Thrift Dweller. Hopefully you're doing well today on the channel. I recently opened a couple of these Ubi collectibles. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. They're collectibles created by Ubisoft. 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 So if you've been staying up to date with the channel, you would have known that I picked up a couple of these Ubi collectible figures from my local EB Games, which is GameStop for y'all in America. And I wanted to share with you my thoughts about opening these up. I got these on a really good deal, so that might affect my reaction to these. Now the first one I want to talk about is this Maria PVC statue from UB Collectibles. I picked this up at uh, I picked this up at our EB Games up here in Canada, which is GameStop for all Americans. Ten bucks Canadian. That's a really outstanding price, I think, for this uh, full statue. Well, I guess they call it a figurine here on the box. Created by UB Collectibles. So, right there. So, I, I've said it many times. I'm not a fan of Assassin's Creed. Like, I don't follow it that in depthly, but on sale for 10 bucks, I'm a big fan. However, I've been burnt before in the past with PVC collectibles, I guess you could say. A lot of North American based companies, which shall remain nameless. <clears throat> Diamond. Like in the uh, collectible world of statues, PVC are obviously like lower end. They're not as expensive as resin and polystone statues. Within that low end, there are different levels within that level. And for this price point, I was expecting UB collectibles to be kind of at the lower end of that. But they really surprised me. When I took this out of the box, I was like, god dang, that's a lot of really nice detail work here. Very meticulous. Like when you look at Maria, there's a lot of layers in her clothing. Uh, one of the things that always falls apart for me is paintwork. Lower end collectibles tend to really be cheap on the paintwork, but looking at this figure, I don't really see any painting errors. There's no oversprays, no smudging or anything like that. This is a really well crafted piece. For 10 bucks, it's like amazing. Like, I was not expecting that. I've purchased other, like, items six times the price of this. Or there's, it's just riddled with, with imperfections and it really does... It gets to me internally, and I was expecting that with this piece, but not, nothing here really rivaling uh, the quality of Kotobukiya and obviously not even close to the price even at regular I think regularly this is probably close to 50 bucks 45 bucks Canadian in the PVC statue world that's kind of like mid-level pricing this is obviously head and shoulders above above the, those ones that I've gotten before the next one I wanted to uh, take a look at was this bust of Ezio again same company UB collectibles I was really blown away when I pulled this out of the box. This was another $10 uh, bust. When I pulled it out of the box, I was amazed. I was like, dang, this is a nice hefty piece. It's pretty darn heavy. But the amount of detail work that went into this is really outstanding. I mean, it's not going to be mistaken for resin or polystone anytime soon. You can tell this is PVC by looking at it, but so many layers in this. Very intricate in the design. You see all the, the ropes, the belts. And it's cool, like his hood goes over his head like that, very indicative of the game. Just just perfect, all the texturing in this, the tooling in the, like the faux leather there. This is an amazing piece, god dang. Even in the face, they do a little bit of shadowing, and they add a lot of low lights. And uh, I mean, there's nothing special about the base, but for 10 bucks, what do you expect? Not a whole lot, and this gives you quite a bit. Even at the bottom there, they have a little bit of uh, info about this piece. It's not limited. That's another reason why it's not as expensive. Uh, part of the reason why higher-end statues are expensive is because they're limited. They don't make. Uh, they can make infinite amount of these technically. But if you really are a fanboy and you just love, like if I loved Assassin's Creed for fifty bucks, this is forty-four dollars actually Canadian. I would have picked this up for the for the quality you're getting, head and shoulders above other PVC collectibles in this price range. And the last one we're going to be taking a look at is the Leap of Faith Ezio statue here. This is more of a diorama because it has like a partial scene to it. And again, this one really blew me away. For this price point, which I got this one for $39.99. Regularly, this is about $70 Canadian. And for that price point, you're going to be getting something very basic, not really 
a very uninspired. And this one has a beautiful sense of movement. Like he's, he's literally leaping off the edge of the building and the engineering that went into making, putting this piece together. You don't expect that for this price point, even at full price at 70 bucks, the sculpture work and the, the detail work now to me, which is indicative of UB collectibles. It's all over in this piece. Ezio looks amazing in here. You got all the texturing, the tooling, the paintwork is spot on. I don't see any errors. Just look at the amount of detail work that went into this, the belts, the, the full leather, the blades in his hands, the cape, they're in movement. It's connected to the wall with two little metal pegs. These are actually made of metal. The receptacle part of it is plastic. So I'm afraid over time that might kind of break down. Um, just don't move it too much. I think you're going to be okay. It stands really well. It's not wobbly at all. And even looking at the wall part, I mean, there's multiple layers of paint in this wall. Very well detailed. You know, it's not just like two tones. There's like three or four shades in that faux brick there. Amazing. The only thing I would complain about is the basic black base that it's standing on. But I mean, that's a minor gripe. So I guess the big takeaway from all this for me, opening these up, I was very surprised at the quality and the value that you're getting for this, really rivaling the quality of Kotobukiya, in my opinion, which to me is like the pinnacle of PVC statues and collectibles. But this is better because even at full price, they're cheaper. And it doesn't have those painting errors, which affect my soul so much. This, These are high quality pieces, uh, well-crafted pieces, and I think great value even at full price. I will be looking for UB collectibles in the future. They actually did a line of Mario Rabbid uh, Kingdom Battle PVC statues, which I, I completed the set of those. And uh, looking at these, that's giving me a lot of hope. You know, So take a look at them. Let me know what you think about these in the comments below. Do you have experience collecting UB collectible stuff? Let me know again as well in the comments below. So to answer the question at the beginning of this video, is it worth it at full price given the quality, the craftsmanship, uh, you know, they didn't cheap out on anything that doesn't look skimpy. You don't feel like it's actually a cheap piece, but for that price point, I, mean, I don't expect this qual level of quality. Absolutely a full price. It is worth it at a discount price. It's like you're crazy not to buy it. Blowout prices from EB games. That's one of the reasons I love GameStops and EB games, even though the majority of people seem to really hate this company. Let me know what you think about these in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Really do appreciate, uh, you giving it a thumbs up, uh, Write a comment, even just letting us know that you were here, and we will respond to you. Thank you very much for watching. This is Nate from Thrift Dollar. Peace.